So Nicholas, I don't know much about ray tracing. This is 3ds Max, right? Uh, yes. This is uh, 3ds Max running Brazil 3, and I'm opening the render viewport for this time. We're getting shaders to the file. Okay. And there's a render window very quick. And one of the great things is we're using the, all the CPU, all the system RAM. We're not limited. Uh, here I've got a teapot that has displacement on it, mesh displacement. So I can take that, dial it up and down, and it updates pretty quickly. And this is a very, actually, a very complex um, calculation to perform. We've got a map, there's a map that's pushing it, the texture map, and I can change it. <coughs> And you can see it up its very quickly. Wow. It goes very rapidly from not much to absolutely beautiful. Yep. Yeah, it cleans up very, very nicely, much faster than uh, other, other uh, solutions. How does this compare to sort of traditional work, you're sort of working, working with Max? Um, this is way more streamlined, so I actually, so far I've only been using it a short time and I love it. It's just, I, I can just keep working, I don't have to stop and start and stop and start. And the, the workflow is just so much better, especially you know, tweaking lights, tweaking materials, colors. And being able to find those you know, great views that you may not be able to find otherwise. Is, Brilliant. So it's nice from a design standpoint. You know, as a designer and now working in film visual effects, it's, it's great for both. I mean, just just the quality of the image you can get out of it. So thank you very much. You bet. Thanks.